Hey, what's up? Chris Hughes here, and this is for day seven's video of the 30 day video challenge. And today I'm actually gonna talk about three simple tips that you can use to make your videos a little bit better. The first tip here is I want you to picture the frame right now. You can draw lines here and across the screen. So you'll see there's like full lines this way in this way. This is known as like the rule of the thirds. If you're very deep into like photos and videos and stuff like that, I'm not an expert in this in, in any way, shape or form, but I've learned a couple tricks that you can start to use. So with your videos, if you can line up with these things, like you'll notice I'm on this side of the screen right now. There's a bunch of like details, like research and stuff that proves that this is a better image for things. Like it draws you in more to look at me instead of like the background, stuff like that. And this can be done with anything. Like you could be on this side of the screen. Do you see how different it looks than me standing in the middle or standing up close? Like I'm above the thing here, down here. But if I'm over here and maybe back a little bit, I should be lined up close to the intersection. In and if you can line up your shot on those intersections, you're gonna have a better picture according to all the people who are experts at this kind of stuff. I just try to follow it when I can. So that's tip number one. Okay, so tip number two. What is it? Well, in its simplest form, it's looking at the lens of the camera instead of like the, the top. Like I have a Canon G7X right now. There's a thing up top here that you can't see, but you can see my eyes are looking above the camera. So I'm not making direct eye contact with you. It's a little weird, right? When you're looking at someone doing video, you want them to be looking at you like you're having an actual conversation with them because it makes it more real. It makes it more human instead of just like all the robotic zeros and ones and stuff. So the next time that you're shooting something, Something. I'm gonna actually grab my phone and show you this or no, I'm gonna grab a camera So this is what I actually mean with this and you might not have like a big fancy camera This is one that I bought a long time ago But you can see here that if I'm looking in the lens that would be this particular portion of the camera this part You'd look directly here However, a lot of the times people will be focusing on this and you'll see I just looked up in mind to see this If you look at this particular spot, you're not looking directly at the person or communicating with them Sometimes the cameras are set up like this. This is why like when you see someone and they they're looking at the lens and then they pop up to see where it is they go back you don't want to do that you want to focus specifically on the lens better quality connection with the user with the person who's watching and consuming your video and tip number three is actually getting a tripod so you'll see here I have this is one of the Joby I don't know if you'll be able to read the word but it says Joby up here and I have another Joby that's on the floor over there and right now I have one of those huge tripods that's at my face level so it's easier for me. These ones are great for like shooting like portable stuff. If you do a vlogging type of stuff you'll have these. You know they work great and you get a more stable shot than trying to hold the camera in your hand by yourself because as humans we always like flop around and stuff. If you don't have a big camera you can get the same thing with like a selfie stick and I don't have a selfie stick but I got you know, a tripod here, another, another one of these tripods, and I got an attachment, and you'll see here, this fits my phone perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but it fits it. So I'm tightening this so it works, and then we'll move this sideways so that you can see. Like, look, there's this camera. So with this, you see the stabilization? It helps in comparison to trying to hold it out for yourself. So you can get this through like a selfie stick or if you have a tripod, one of these, uh, I'm not sure the actual term for it. It's an add-on, it actually just screws onto, whoops, almost dropped it. But it just screws onto all of the tripods. Like they all have this little screw thing on here. So it's really easy to install and really easy to use. And it's a great way to make your videos kind of stable. Like it makes them a lot easier to go through. And you don't need to spend like $600 or $400 or whatever those crazy ones are. Like this piece right here, I think it was like $12 on Amazon. I'll actually link that up down below if you want to see the exact one I got. It might be less, it might be a little more. I, I honestly don't remember, I bought it a while ago. But that's tip three is getting tripod thing so that your videos can be better. Okay, so let's review what we just talked about. The first, the rule of the thirds. Honestly, do a little bit more research on this so that you can see some people have terrific videos. I'll link up a good video down below so that you can see this from some dude who understands video marketing a lot better than I do. Step two or tip two actually is to look at the lens. 
So look at that right there instead of the top part up there because you're missing out on a huge part of the message delivery if you're not looking directly at the lens. So the last part, part three, was getting a tripod or one of those like mobile handheld like selfie sticks so that your video quality can be more consistent. It's a more solid like fluid frames and stuff like that. But that's it for this video. I just wanted to share those three tips for you so that you can make better videos so that this challenge is a little easier for you. If you have questions, as always, let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click the link down below to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.